Of course, also here this morning, we've been watching these local elections mm -hmm. for you. Bill Haggerty beat Marquita Bradshaw in the race to fill the seat left by former Senator Lamar Alexander. News Channel 5's Mo Hyder live at the Elections Commission. And Mo, unlike the presidential race, this one was a pretty quick call. Yeah, that is certainly true, Amy. In fact, the race was called just minutes after those polls closed. In fact, if you just see the numbers from the polls here, this really wasn't even a competitive race. Now, 62% of those votes went to Bill Haggerty as opposed to 35% that went to Bradshaw. Haggerty has been in politics for quite some time, even serving as the United States ambassador to Japan. You remember his ads often mention how he was endorsed by President Trump, giving him an advantage in a state that has pulled for the president both times. During his victory speech, he told the crowd, this win is the greatest honor of his life and he'll stand for life and for our law enforcement officers. Haggerty also says he's focused on the future but is putting the blame on Democrats for the lack of unity in Congress. Well, I'm looking forward to moving out of a presidential election year and I hope that that will help temper some of the partisanship because we have some serious challenges ahead of us as a nation. As a business person, I know it's important to cooperate and come to compromise if we're going to see some sort of movement forward. The Democrats have been wholly unwilling to do that. Hopefully, after this election is over, they'll be willing to come back to the table because we have too many things at stake for America. Now, Governor Lee also went uh, on to congratulate Haggerty on his victory. On his Twitter page, he did say Bill will be a strong voice for Tennessee values in Washington. Live from Nashville this morning, Ohio News Channel 5.